that. Thank you for the shape of water. Yeah. Next, we're going to talk about uh, the new Netflix drop, which was <laughs> the next in the Cloververse, <laughs> Cloverfield Paradox. Yes. And uh, I'll give it to Abu to give you an overview of this. Right, okay, I'm going to try and give a straightforward overview. So this is, this follows a cast of astronauts on, um, I'm going to say the International Space Station. No, they're on the Cloverfield, no, aren't it's, they? it's called, they the, called the, Cloverfield. the Cloverfield Station. Yeah, so they're on the Cloverfield Station, which is running this um, experiment, a particle accelerator. Yeah. So they want to renew and find a new energy source um, because the world's dying, of course. And um, they need to find this experiment, okay. yeah, to find out if it works, because the only place safe enough is in space. They fire it, things go wrong, and they end up in another dimension, and freaky stuff starts happening. So this is supposed to be linked. Oh, that sounds to... like, you know, that, what's that film where... Uh, ignore me. <laughs> you, you know that film <laughs> where... Just cut me off, and just then Sam Neill... You've finish you've got <laughs> Sam Neill, and like, hell comes through the portal in the spaceship. You know what film I'm talking about? Nope. Nope. But you can Google it on your phone. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you, do, like you do some exact, research. Exact so, yeah, so this follows them in space and things start to go wrong and weird. And it's supposed to be linked to Cloverfield. We don't know how. Universe, but... there, it's definitely open to interpretation. So <laughs> we've, had, we've, been, we've been reading yeah. a couple of things about it. And um, we've seen that it's a prequel. No, I'm um, not, yeah, we've, <laughs> or we've seen it, for someone say it's a sequel yeah. and we've seen other people say that it's not related whatsoever <laughs> it's just it's not a sequence of events it's an anthology mm. so the films are loosely based around like a monster and maybe a split in the time space continuum but that's mm. pretty much the only thing that links the three movies and now we found out that there's a fourth already made yeah. Codename Overlord. Oh, really oh yeah, it's like pretty much done. Yeah, so they start. They were filming it in May seventeen, mm. so it's probably done. So that. I think what I mean, this film is pretty much all over the place in a sense, like, and I think what the main problem here is that this film must be called something else. So it's actually um, going to be shot as a movie called God Particle. Yeah. Which is like a totally well, different new film. One. This movie was supposed to be called yeah. God Particle. So but in the in the yes, same was way. Going to be called. Yeah. So but later on yeah. they decided to add the Cloverfield. Uh, in, the, in the same way that yeah. 10 Cloverfield Lane was actually going to be called The Cellar yeah. and then J.J. Abrams took over and they mm. reshot some and made a link to the Cloverfield yeah. Which is Why is Cloverfield so interesting? We, we don't know. We don't know. <laughs> so none of us actually really yeah. like the original Cloverfield. Yeah, I, yeah. Don't li I don't like found footage yeah. very Not much. Not just us. No one cares about Cloverfield, J.J. <laughs> Abrams. No one really does. I mean, they just leave it alone. Yeah. Like, Leave it dead. Before I, before I rage into this movie too much, I mean, what I do want to say on the good side of things is that I, I love the cast. I think the it's cast such a great, great. strong cast. So Chris O'Dowd is always hilarious, but he feels a bit out of place in this. I think like, I think he's one line is a bit weird. He's he's definitely um, a bit more relaxed, and, um, restrained in this. Yeah. So he's not full on like the yeah. IT crowd, yeah. Chris O'Dowd, or like bridesmaids, mm. Chris O'Dowd. He's definitely, still a, of he's still there. a little bit of the, of the comic relief yeah. in this. You got they have just sold the film to me. I'm, I'm definitely going to watch it now. <laughs> and and, and you know what is a, another great actor? Chris O'Dowd's arm. <laughs> oh, we're not going to, we're not going to nah. tell you what happens. Just his arm <laughs> no is, is great. Daniel Brew, he's always great. Um, yeah, so he, he was um, Zemo in yeah. Captain America Civil War. In, um, just a few oh, the in, bad guy. Inglorious Bastards oh. as well. Inglorious Bastards. No way. Yeah. yeah. David Owe. Oh, oh, yeah, well, oh, I was Owe. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and um, he was he was mm. really great as the as the captain. Mm. And um, Elizabeth Debicki. He's always been the bad person bad in every person, movie yeah. I see for some reason. So. She she's uh, she's mm. in Guardians of the Galaxy two as the leader of the sovereign people, and she's uh, she's kind of you you see her coming. Yeah. Really, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean I mean the cast. But apart from that, I think the movie was a bit. Confusing. I'm not really yeah. too sure where it's going. It's it's one of those films that's supposed to be, I or at least from what yeah. I've read, it's supposed to be a bit more visceral. So I, I watched it today, and I was just thinking, like, what 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 is going on? And I started reading about it, and I kind of get yeah. it. Like, um, it's supposed to outline like the needs of the many outweighing the needs of the few and like how doing the right thing isn't always doing the mm -hmm. right thing and how there's it's good to be have balance and make careful decisions but ultimately there's this unpredictability that you can't control in life yeah, and I, all this kind I, of I, stuff I, I disagree with that i just think this movie doesn't <laughs> no, it's just going way too deep for itself because yes. it's just cover let's be yes. no 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 and, yeah. and that's what it's i like, thought no I, need to I, go, yeah. this is this is like me and mother like yeah. i couldn't get on board with mother because it's too like too much of the <laughs> allegories and stuff and in this mm, is the same thing so just be what you need to be yeah because it's like this film talks about like don't fire these experiments and all open up another wormhole or universe mm -hmm. and the demons will come in and oh demons this is where it probably links into the original Cloverfield. 
But there's no demons. It doesn't mention anything. Wait, are the demons as big as the first Cloverfield? They're, they're, they're bigger. Not yeah, but they're well, the, bigger. the one that the one that they show yeah. is on bigger. the spaceship. No, 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 on no. The spaceship no. So there's not. There's none on the spaceship. <laughs> what it's, what so the, the, basically, the, all of the things that I start happening. That's in space. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. all in. It's all set in, in space. The, in the Cloverfield um, um, spaceship. But everything that's happening is supposed to be as a result of two dimensions colliding. It's just on and Earth. No, no, no. In the space, so the space station goes into another dimension. Because of the and, experiment, right? <clears throat> yeah, oh, because so of in the another part world. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or another alternate universe. Yeah. Earth. That so and then so then there's the idea that the act the all of the other films are a multiverse. So each film is yeah. set in a different universe. Oh, that's and just people a are talking out. about it that. Is, I know, it really exactly. Is. Yeah, it's just and amazing. it's like, you know what? Just just go full haul, mm -hmm. take it back, make it a prequel. That would have been great. Yeah, but putting all of this yeah, yeah, exactly. Putting all this interpretation garbage. into it just makes yeah. it <laughs> either garbage or great. And it's kind of garbage. I mean, it's like I mean, I want to, like, one thing, I don't want to spoil it too much, but the ship is weird because, like, everyone just, like, you know, it's a space horror, so people are gonna die, yeah. but it's just like, it doesn't make any sense. It's like, like, I mean, it's not like, I mean, a better movie would be Life, which is like, yeah, it's a I'd movie. agree. Definitely life was great because they had an alien, then the aliens just wanted to kill everyone, fair enough. Here it's like people are dying, but it's like, Wait, why are they dying? Is it because it's just randomly dying or is it because mm. the spaceship's sentient now? You know, actually it's what just, I thought when I was watching it, it's very Black Mirror. Yeah, yeah wow. Whoa, Black Mirror is amazing. I mean, no, it's not as good, Man. anywhere <laughs> as good as Black Mirror. Like, I haven't actually, I wouldn't say, I haven't watched Black Mirror, but mm. I've seen like a couple of Snippets episodes. Of it, yeah. right. And the feeling is exactly the same. Stuff is happening Disturbing. and you have yeah. no idea why. And oh. it is weird and it is messed up. <laughs> right. Um, but it's... It's still kind of like I don't care about the characters. Yeah. Like it's a great cast and and they there is a sacrifice well. at one point, right? But the character even says, I, "I don't need to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway." Like, yeah. And it's like you have a you you literally have like a line attached no, to you called a life. They line. literally say, "I don't need to do this." You don't but need I have to do to. this. I'm like, what, what that makes Why? no sense. So is your life so worthless? It's so oh. suicidal. <laughs> one By the way, you, I was you remember I was saying it reminded yeah. me of another film. The yeah. film is Event Horizon. Oh. You know which one I'm talking about? It's a really old 1997. Like they're in a spaceship, they open portals to you know another what? dimension, if, and demons come through. If it's got Sam Neill in it, watch that. <laughs> yeah, that one. Oh my god, that would give me nightmares when I was <laughs> what, eight years old or so. Another, one of us, this would be a rant I want to get out of the way, which I listen to is they go back to Earth every now and again for this another story arc following the survivors. Well, one survivor, and he rescues a kid. But it goes nowhere. We follow yeah. Survivor? The Survivor of what? Because Earth's suddenly being taken by monsters, but we never... As well. We don't, don't yeah, know so, how. So then it's just... supposed to be like the, the split when they um, fired the accelerator and, and went into the other dimension so like, brought yeah. monsters onto well. the Earth. But it doesn't really explain how the monsters how? got there, but yeah. who cares? Yeah. So They're there. The monsters there is raging, but it's like they follow these like, two people. But it never goes anywhere. Like at the end of it, like what was the point of that? They could have cut that all out of the movie. Are they related to someone in the spaceship? Yeah, they are. But the yeah, storyline goes husband. nowhere though. Like they right. don't have any significant. And who, who in England has a bunker <laughs> with like a kitchenette and beds? I do. And, <laughs> and a guy, he's the bunker he owns it is a guy who's well connected to the military. He knows everything as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and he isn't using his own bunker. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Then there was this other thing about like. There's, there's two versions, obviously because you're in an dim alternate yeah. dimension, there's two versions of the same person. They had the same choice to make. One went one way, one went the other way. And like how tragedy impacted on their decision and stuff like this. Yeah, it's just... uh, and the, the only thing I did find interesting, you know when the airlock opens and the water comes yeah. out but it freezes? So there's like interesting spins on, on physics and, and how things work in space. That was that was interesting. I just think nothing to do with the storyline or the film. I just yeah, like the I physics. I was thinking <laughs> I could have seen that in Discovery Channel. I mean, I, I can see. I mean, my review will be overall like I can understand why they didn't do any marketing because they literally dropped this. Yeah, it was like Super Bowl happened the, and then Netflix. You know, all all that you've discussed. Mm. It sounds like it'll be a very high budget film with all the CGI and production. Who knows how much it was? Because but. I think they'll make money back did it, on it regardless. Did it look like high production value? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it, very looks, well it looks really good. Yeah, but I think they'll make the money back because Netflix, people will watch it regardless. Yeah. Mm. But I can understand why they didn't do any like hype for it. They just literally came out on the day because right. yeah. um, the critics would slated I it. I don't know why they've called it Paradox. I don't yeah. see a paradox. <laughs> It's a cool word, yeah. It's a cool word, which is but amazing. Yeah, right, think, yeah, short short reviews. At least ego. they didn't do a re yeah. reborn or something. Cloverfield <laughs> reborn. My review is explains the marketing because that this is the reason why they kept it so low key and just released it without anyone. Yeah, any and, and gave it to it. Netflix where they get an instant yeah, return. Return on return. it. Otherwise it would have been slated before it came out and it would not yeah. have been good. So 
But yeah, someone to make Clover Field happen, it's not gonna yeah. happen. I mean, it's mine, not gonna mine would, ha it's not gonna happen. Yeah, mine would be if you own Netflix. Yeah. Watch it. If not, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Moving on to our Wonderful. next next bit, <laughs> our uh, <laughs> last minute tag. Yeah. Um, I